boating is supposed to be an exciting and romantic occupation. And yes, it is. But there is a lot of things you even don't think about when talking about boating. Besides hot sun, splashing water, enchanting views. I've got a very limited space for storing or parking my boat. So, my boating trip begins with bringing the boat out of my front yard parking. It is somewhat complicated, but I've got some practice already. And the process goes quite fluently. You must have in mind that the maneuvers take some time. Always be ready for unexpected. I noticed a tuft of feathers sticking out of the exhaust. Who didn't pull them out? So I had to remove this plate. Sadly, I could do nothing about this poor bird. Here is the victim. Finally on the road. As you can see, the weather is not perfect. Cloudy, with light rain. You have to be prepared for that, because you are towing at a much higher speed than when sailing a boat. Water tries to penetrate inside the boat through every single gap. We decided to go boating to Namunas river, which is pretty close, just about 12 kilometers. Be ready to spend some time for getting to the water. Unfortunately, boat fueling infrastructure is not developed here. The most convenient way to fill my fuel tank is at automotive petrol station. Be ready to spend your time and your money. Finally, we reached the river. The weather is, mm, let's say, not very good. That's why the boat ramp is completely empty. We are lucky. Okay, I'm just the optimist. It is mandatory to be able to push in reverse your trailer at the boat ramp. It is nice to have somebody to help. Yes, the weather is not perfect. But inside, inside all depends on you and your fellow travelers. At 
the small boat pier of Rodondoris, our fellow travelers left us. We had one spectator instead. So we started looking for an anchorage for a night. Nevesis is a narrow river with quite no flow. We set our anchors just around the corner. In the morning the weather was fine. We enjoyed sightseeing and planing. These views is one of the reasons I love boating. Sometimes you meet nice folks on the water. Then we passed Kacharginia, then the Pishkis. A kite festival was about to begin in a few hours, but all mooring places were occupied and we moved on. Then we stopped at Kulautova here for a while and made a U-turn. Heading back towards Konas to the boat ramp where we started.
loading the boat on the trailer. Securing Get it. perfectly aligned. Super. This is an easy part. As I said before already, Always be ready for unexpected. I even didn't notice nor feel the moment I have hit the prop. Finally parking back to my front yard. Usually I do this easier with a rope and pulley, but you know, this time I was on camera. It's not an easy task to turn a double axle trailer under full load. That was a perfect fit, but you know I've done this before. So the trip is over, it is over already for more than two weeks. I remember it with a very good impressions. The first trip this year was very good. Regarding fuel consumption, as you can see, I still have quite a half a tank of fuel. And before refueling, it was approximately a quarter of the tank. 
so we just used less than we refueled the trip was not very long distant it was more relaxing low, slow speed so we covered about 40 kilometers so we can guess what is the fuel consumption and also if you consider my videos to be useful interesting please subscribe like share comment and wait for the next video where i'll show you how i fixed my damage prop till next time <laughs>